So this is probably going to seem like a video by some random guy wearing a cap um, just rambling about some nonsense without any coherence or structure whatsoever and that's a rocket in the background. Wow. But I'm going to talk about that later. So I think nobody's going to watch this and of the two people who are watching this right now, I mean in total, one is already going to stop now because I didn't bring a tripod because I wasn't really planning to film any of this. Let me just talk about this. I also think um, maybe the other person that's left is also going to stop watching because it's dark and they can, you can see shit but I don't really like filming in the dark either but you know it's a nice park and there is some light so let's try it anyway. Um, so I'm here in Seville, Sevilla, city in the south of Spain. Uh, I think it's the fourth city in the country. Um, I just spent a month or so a bit more in a Spanish pueblo where they have like three tourists uh, every year. So I now came here because I have a flight here and I just wanted to stay here for a few days before leaving. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I checked out um, the city center uh, today. I just walked around a little bit. And I gotta say I'm so freaking sick already of these crowds of tourists. Um, that's how I wanna, why I want to talk a bit about, uh, you know, over tourism. Um, because it seems to me if you live like in a city like this or in a city like Amsterdam, my country, you just go nuts because of all these tours. And, um, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people still really like making these city uh, trips to wherever, like uh, Malaga is very popular, I think, currently, or just to Madrid or Barcelona. Um, but man, if you're walking around that city center, it's just these masses of tourists and it's not even the summer, right? It's like a pretty random time of the year to be here. But it's just full of these fucking tourists and I'm one of them too, so I'm part of the prom. You know, I'm walking there looking like a tourist as well. well. I speak Spanish, so maybe I'm slightly less annoying if I asked for uh, food in a bar because I don't have to uh, switch to English. But I'm still probably pretty freaking annoying. So, um, so what I did instead... I already had this idea of renting a bike, so I'm going to show you this bike that I rented. Um, and I just decided to um, to just escape the city center and just go somewhere random, like what I enjoy most doing. So I went to this really random Spanish village and now I went to a really random area. Um, so let me just show you my bike. So I can't even see it, right? But look at my bike, it's a really crappy old Dutch bike so from my country and they brought it here and they rent it out to tourists so they have these bikes with smaller wheels that you can rent that are more standard here but uh, I found a shop where they had this and I liked it because I'm Dutch so and the city is like it's um, there's no hills so I just came back from the mountains and uh, it's quite nice to uh, be able to cycle again because it's really easy here and there's a lot of bike paths so that's a lot of positives also for the people who live here live here but just in general, man, it's just so... It makes me crazy to think of what cities in Europe, like, what they have to deal with. Like, a, a city doesn't have any feelings, so it's not it's not a literal organism, but it's an organism in the sense it's a little society. People need to live here and they live, need to live together. And it's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure on, um, for example, for locals. Um, housing gets more and more expensive. If you look at Malaga, I haven't been there, but I know people who live in Malaga and they, you know, people are pushed out of the cities because uh, all the expats want to live there and because of the tourism they rent out apartments to uh, to tourists. But man, it makes me, you know, I'm part of the problem being here, but still, you know, I, I don't really want to participate in this anymore. So when I'm going on a vacation I think I'd rather just go to some place where nobody goes because there's nothing interesting but still like, the culture is interesting if you're um, if it's a foreign country there's still so many things uh, that are really interesting about going to a different place and checking out the culture and you know what I forgot to say that I stayed here 12 years 14 years ago I started learning Spanish here. I stayed here for a month and it wasn't as bad as it is now or maybe that's just my hazy memories, right? I don't know. But it wasn't I it feels at least I let it was less bad than is than it is now. But then I was also part of the problem. <laughs> so I guess you know if you live in a smaller city and you get some tourists um like not another super small village or something, but just a smaller town than the capital 
or one of the big cities of a country and you get tourists and you're like oh tourists that's nice but here it's just I can't I can't imagine what people are going through with this um, so what I did instead I went went to this uh, weird neighborhood here it's not really a neighbor it's more like an area uh, where they have a lot of these like university like buildings or you know uh, companies like this modern architecture that's pretty much the same everywhere but here they actually held um, the uh, world expo of my birth year they held it here in Seville they held it in the past so you have a place that I noted from my last time staying here you have a little area where they have a lot of these pavilions from um, the early 20th century which is something I really recommend if you do come here because you know, the, the normal like historical buildings and streets are really nice, but it's just so freaking touristy. And then when you find something that's kind of odd, I always like that. So actually, I did not find a lot of buildings here that were interesting in, in terms of like uh, landmarks. Um, I think there was a Moroccan one that looked very Arabic. Uh, there wasn't one from Hungary um, with uh, some traditional elements of uh, Central European architecture. Um, there were some other places that looked pretty interesting. Uh, you know, you get, I get the enthusiasm going with this. So you already noticed that I like this a bit more than the standard stuff that everyone's doing. And of course, it's not like I'm the first person who goes out exploring these areas. But it's just like I haven't seen a tourist uh, in, in about three hours or something. So I guess that's a success. And then what I found here was even, even, even weirder, like, um, I, you know, the, the, the expo is a bit weird because the buildings are kind of abandoned like some are still used for other purposes but some are just like the Hungarian one it's just empty uh, it doesn't make any sense and the Moroccan one actually had warnings like for crumbling uh, parts so you know they're not really maintaining this it's like welcome to Spain but uh, actually I'm not sure who's responsible for it or the foreign countries or Spain but uh, you know it's like 32 years ago so I guess uh, but I saw this at the other side like I don't know how to show this properly with a selfie mode but you can't even really see it right but it's like they have a rocket and they have like these really weird structures and a tower and it's, it's like an abandoned uh, theme park uh, space related and they have an actual theme park next to it that's open uh, just uh, with standard things like roller coasters but this looks really weird and it's like a fortress you, you can't access it um, so I tried to access it, but it's it's just, you know, it's it's forbidden. And I'm not one of these guys who uh, just goes randomly into, uh, casually into these abandoned buildings and just chills there. Like I'm actually kind of, um, you know, a coward. So I'm I'm afraid of asbestos and things like that. So, so uh, I'm not your uh, average urban explorer, but I just thought it was really interesting to look at from uh, at it from all sides and. Um, Actually, this got me a little more um, happy about being here and actually seeing something that I find interesting. And of course, like the, all the historical places and the landmarks are interesting. But let me tell you one thing to 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 uh, to uh, you know end this video. Um, so there's a rural uh, like a, sorry a royal castle here that I really liked when I first got here. But um, you know I, that was the only like museum like place or whatever that I even want to visit here uh, now um, so I'm part of tourism there but you know the line that was outside you know it's just freaking crazy like who's gonna wait an hour for something like that just to enter and to take the same pictures everyone makes well I think there's a lot of more pictures uh, in people's uh, on people's hard drives and on the internet of these uh, that palace you know it's really freaking beautiful, but that, like these these standard things that are worth it, I guess. Well, most of it bores me kind of, but you know, there's probably way more pictures than this odd rocket there. Um, you know, I'm not saying nobody has seen this before, but it's just like a totally different kind of tourism. And is that more sustainable? I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm part of the problem all the time, you know, when I visit places like this. Um, but I guess, um, you know, what's uh, my point even with this video? But I guess uh, maybe tourism can also be done in a different way. 
and um, yeah that's what I wanted to share